technical writing reports report basics a report may come in different lengths and levels of formality and serve different sometimes overlapping purposes a report will satisfy one or all of the following needs will record work accomplished complex info for future reference problems encountered and procedures present information to groups of people with varied skill level document schedules timetables milestones and status recommend future action a report may either be long and formal or short and informal based on the writer's purpose and subject each has unique characteristics that make it valuable for different types of communication unique aspects of reports length and scope short reports are typically limited to between one and five pages or a limited scope while long reports are five pages or more formality or tone most short reports are informal routine messages while formal reports are usually longer and include standardized components such as title page, table of contents, abstract, etc. Audience may be internal, colleagues or supervisors, external, vendors, clients or companies, or both. Purpose. Informational reports focus on factual data. Analytical reports provide information and causal analysis, and persuasive reports convey information and analysis to justify a recommendation. Every report should contain five basic features. Identification lines, date, recipient, sender, and subject. Example, date, March 15, 2014 to Rob Harkin from Stacy Helgo subject report on Usenet conference headings and talking headings headings include non-specific words or phrases such as introduction while talking headings provide more information human resources committee reviews benefits Introduction, an overview of the report, including purpose, subject matter, personnel involved in reporting activity, and dates covered. The discussion provides detailed development based on the report type. The conclusion or recommendation relates what was learned, decisions made, and suggests further action. Types of short informal reports. An incident report document unexpected problems and answer who was involved as well as what role the writer plays and why the writer is involved. Investigative reports document an incident and focus on why the event occurred. Trip reports document job-related travel. Progress reports document the status of an activity explaining accomplishments and work remaining. Lab reports or test reports document the status and findings of lab research or experimentation. Feasibility or recommendation reports accomplish two goals, to study the practicality of a proposal and recommend action. Research reports document findings from job-related studies. Proposals are written propositions that aim to persuade readers to perform a specific action. Long formal reports. Long formal reports typically have one or more of the following functions. Information or facts. Analysis, facts plus interpretation. A recommendation, facts, interpretation plus suggestions for further action. A long formal report includes the following. Front matter, which is title page, cover letter, memo, table of contents, list of illustrations, abstract. The text, 
includes introduction, discussion, conclusion, recommendation. Back matter contains glossary, works cited, or reference page, and appendix. The title page tells the reader the following. Title of the report, providing clarity of intent. Name of the company and writers. Date the report was completed. The cover letter should include the author's intent and subject, points of note in the report, plans for follow-up and dates or deadlines, the significance of the deadline. A table of contents should direct readers to sections that interest them and include complete and accurate listing of main and minor topics covered in a well-organized manner. A list of illustrations should be added to reports using tables or figures in or after the table of contents. An abstract is meant to provide readers with a summary of the report's focus. Use low-tech terminology. An introduction should propose the purpose and problem at hand. Purpose, one to three sentences clarifying report's context. Background and problem needs analysis. Clarification for why the report is important. The discussion section of a report provides support for the argument and should give proof through research, interviews, or surveys. Content may be organized in a variety of different ways. Compare contrast, use when offering many options. Cause effect, show cause of a problem or need. Chronological, timeline for proposal implementation. Analysis, subdivide topics to aid understanding. Graphics can help emphasize key points. A conclusion or recommendation sums up the report and suggests further action. Restate the problem, solutions, and benefits. Recommend the plan of action. State the significance of the specified deadline. A glossary provides an alphabetized list of high-tech terminology for reader clarification. A works cited or reference page documents the use of outside sources. Enhance credibility by avoiding unethical behavior. An appendix will include additional information, survey results, tables, figures, etc., not built into the main text of the report. Valuable data should appear in the text where it is easily accept accessible. Now if you will click on the link at the bottom of the page, you can download a worksheet that will help you understand and remember what you have just learned.